Hi church, my name is Grace Lambert and I am the children's coordinator for our Heights Kids Ministry. This week we started a new thread called Follower versus Fan and we have been taking a closer look at Matthew chapter 5. The verse I'll be taking a look at today is Matthew chapter 5 verse 5. I'm reading out of the NLT version and it says, God blesses those who are humble for they will inherit the whole earth. What does it mean to be humble? To be humble means that we are to not place ourselves on a pedestal as being more important than others, but that at the same time, we can accept our God-given purpose and allow him to do great works in and through our lives. Contrary to common misconceptions about humility, it's important that we don't think poorly of ourselves because this is dishonoring to God. We can't bring ourselves down so low as to deny our special place in God's kingdom and rob ourselves of the opportunity to allow him to work in our lives. Humility still allows us to see our purpose and identity in God. God loves you so much. You are his masterpiece and you are God's child. When you see yourself as he sees you, that is honoring to God. It's also honoring to him when we refrain from seeing ourselves as better than the people around us. Going back to Matthew 5, 5, it says, God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. If we are going to inherit something, then that also means that we are heirs. Why are we heirs and why are we inheriting the whole earth? We are heirs because we are God's children. Romans 8, 17 says that since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. As Christians, God is our heavenly father, and we have been adopted into his family as his children. Earth is God's creation. Therefore, as God's children, we will inherit the earth. However, this isn't to say that our inheritance will come without suffering. When Christ lived his life on earth, he suffered and went through so much pain. In order to receive our glory and inheritance from our Heavenly Father, we must share in Christ's suffering as we are co-heirs with Jesus. This all comes full circle when we realize that it is with a humble heart that we need to recognize our need for God's salvation we suffer with Christ, and we ultimately receive our Heavenly Father's inheritance with Jesus. How does this all tie into being a follower versus a fan, and what does it mean to be a follower of Jesus? When we commit to being a follower of Jesus, we are um, walking beside him day in and day out. We are committing to that, and we are continually searching for ways to apply Jesus' example to our own lives. When Jesus lived his life on earth, he gave us the greatest demonstration of humility. He came down to earth as a vulnerable infant. He was born in a stable and was placed in a manger because there was no room for him and his parents at the inn. Throughout his adult life, he traveled from town to town frequently because he had no earthly place to call his home. And he knelt down to wash the feet of his disciples when normally that job would have been reserved for the servants. But you know what Jesus said? He said he came not to be served, but to serve others. Jesus lived a perfect life, and yet he was beaten, spat upon, and he suffered a tragic death on a cross, all to save us from our sins. All because he loves us so much. He served others well, and he knew his identity in God. His identity was secure in God the Father's will. What are some circumstances in your life that God is calling you to posture your heart in humility towards him? And is there any area of your life that you are struggling to surrender to the Lord? I encourage you this week to dive into prayer and ask God to create a humble heart within you. Remember who you are in Christ Jesus and that you are co-heirs with him as we suffer with him and receive our inheritance with him from our Heavenly Father. Let's make it our goal to daily um, humble ourselves before Jesus as we walk beside him and follow him wholeheartedly. 
Thank you so much for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you have a blessed week and I will see you next time.